Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantrinas. So today I'm going to be using some of these new hair products from Sally's. This is their Texture ID line. And this is my first time using their stuff. So I use everything except for the heat protectant and the conditioner. So um, the thermal styling foam I haven't gotten a chance to use yet because I didn't heat style my hair for this. I just um, did a braid out. And then the conditioner I skipped because I went ahead and I just did... Um, the deep conditioner so these are the only two products I haven't used yet once I do use them I will let you guys know how I feel about it but basically the texture ID line is a hairline that is good for all hair types they do have some products that are specific for curly or um, kinky hair so make sure to read on the labels they do have them labeled right here what hair type it's best for but for the most part all hair types can use the products that I'm talking about today. So after I shampooed my hair with the Curl Clarifying Shampoo, I went ahead with the Deep Treatment Mask. I think out of all of the products, this one was my favorite. Keep in mind though that I did just come out of having straightened hair, so I'm not sure if it's because of that or if it's because it actually works really good. Yeah, the Deep Treatment Mask, it has sweet almond oil, wheat protein, and honey, and it's supposed to restore strength and hydration. This stuff was amazing, and I didn't really use that much of it, surprisingly. Usually with deep conditioners like this, I'll use half the tub in the first go, but I didn't this time, which is crazy. Um, I also use this to detangle my hair, which was a breeze. I am honestly so hype about this deep treatment mask. Um, I'm, I'm going to be using this a lot more in videos. You guys are going to see me at least talk about it because this stuff was really nice. I don't know exactly what was in it that made it really nice, but it felt amazing on my hair. When I rinsed it out, my hair felt super soft. So that was a huge plus. I am, I'm just like, I'm blown away, honestly. Um, I was playing video games while I left this in, so I left it in a lot longer than what it says to on the package. It says to leave it in for 7 to 10 minutes. I left them in. I left mine in for 30 minutes to an hour, so yeah. The main products that I used for this braid out was this. So I used the Intense Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner, and it has aloe vera extract, coconut oil, and it's supposed to promote moisture and softness, and I, I used this one. And then on top of that, I used the styling cream, which is the Texture ID styling cream that has cocoa butter and shea butter. It's supposed to provide a medium hold while retaining moisture and elasticity. So I'm going to start off with the Intense Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. This is supposed to promote moisture and softness. It's made with aloe vera extract and coconut oil. And it's supposed to seal the cuticle, strengthen, fight humidity, um, easily comb out, hydrate and soften, boost elasticity, reduce breakage. Um, a lot of stuff, just really good with, for your hair. It also helps to improve porosity, so that's pretty cool. I'm not really used to using a spray leave-in conditioner for braid outs, so this is pretty new to me. I wasn't really sure if I was using too much or too little, but um, it ended up working out anyway. And of course, taking my Denman to brush through my hair. Next, I'm taking the styling cream. This is made with cocoa butter and shea butter, and this is for curly to coily hair types. So this is what you would use over your intense moisture leave-in conditioner. This is supposed to provide medium holds while retaining moisture and elasticity. And I love the feel of this stuff. Um, it feels like a gel, but mixed with some type of conditioner, if that makes sense. So it's made with coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and weight pro weight protein. Oh my god. And weight <laughs> and wheat protein to provide superb curl definition and frizz protection. This is great for twist outs, rod sets, and protective styling. So if you need to do a twist out, braid out, whatever, this is gonna be good for that. And basically I'm just going all over my head. I'm going in with the intense moisture leave-in conditioner and then going over that with the styling cream. Now, while I love how the products made my hair feel when I took it down and I thought the definition was pretty good, I think it would have been so much better if I would have used a gel on top of it. Um, I, I'm gonna try that next time. If you guys wanna see another video trying it out with gel, let me know. But um, with these two products alone, they worked really well together. I'm not mad at it at all. Like you can you can see my curls clumping together just from that. But I just feel like with gel, it would have really stuck together. Like that would have been like a braid out of my dreams. 
And then on the ends, I'm going ahead and twirling it around my finger. Um, I also like to trim my ends if I feel like a scraggly bit that's just kind of like hanging there um, that doesn't look good. Don't be afraid to trim your hair. Just cut a little, little notch off. It'll be all right. And yeah, that's basically it. I maybe put in 12 braids all around my hair. I don't know, I didn't really count. And this is the next morning, me taking out the braids. And this is the next morning. This is basically just taking out the braids. I have olive oil on my fingers, which is why my hands look so shiny. Um, and makeup on my hand. I don't really remember why I did that, but <laughs> it's there. It would have looked so much better with gel. I'm kind of mad at myself, but next time I will be using gel with it to see what it will look like. I do like big frizzy hair, which is why I'm con like constantly picking out my hair and um, making it frizzier. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate your support. So if you guys wanna see this makeup in a video, let me know. Um, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.